Okay, welcome back. In this video, let's talk about how to raise your AMH levels naturally. I get this question a lot, and what I want to ask you and let you think about it a little bit is, do you know if AMH levels are relevant to your particular situation? Like for myself, I got pregnant in my 40s. I never dare tested my AMH. I knew it would stress me out. So comment below if you got your AMH levels tested and what led you to do that. So back to raising AMH. Okay, number one, stop smoking. Your eggs and your ovaries hate cigarette smoke and secondhand cigarette smoke. It, ages them, it shrivels them up. Studies show that smokers on average have lower AMH levels. Here's a solution. Alan Carr's book, The Easy Way to Quit Smoking. Read it and by the end, you'll be done. Number two, being overweight. Studies show that women with a BMI or a body mass index of 30 or above have lower AMH levels, 65% lower in some cases. An ideal BMI for fertility is between 20 to 24 and a half. Here is one solution. If you really need to take it um, weight off, I suggest intermittent fasting. There's a lot of great videos here on YouTube like Dr. Jason Fung's channel. And one tip is drink bone broth when you start intermittent fasting. It'll really help with those initial hunger pangs. Number three, vitamin D. Studies show that women who have lower levels of vitamin D below 30 nanograms per milliliter, that's really low, have lower AMH. But also women with fertility issues, women who have had habitual miscarriages are also shown to have lower than optimal vitamin D levels. Here's a solution. First, take a 25 OH vitamin D3 test. Have your vitamin D levels between 50 to 80 nanograms per milliliter. That's optimal for fertility. Depending on your level of deficiency, you may need up to 5,000 or 10,000 IU a day. Okay, number four, elevated TSH. Women with thyroid stimulating hormone of three and above have shown to have lower AMH levels. Just a note, it's recommended to have your TSH between one and two, closer to one for optimized fertility. Also, women with elevated thyroid antibodies have also shown to have lower AMH levels. Here's a tip, get a complete thyroid panel, which includes testing thyroid antibodies. So back to the question, is AMH important in your particular situation? If you are going to use IVF, then yes, they're going to test your AMH levels. It helps determine how much stimulation drug is required. Uh, studies show that the lower the AMH, the poor response to IVF. However, when conceiving naturally, the focus should be on your overall health and supporting egg quality and sperm quality and if you know my channel, I have loads of videos discussing just that. So check them out. If you're interested in finding out the root cause of your unique fertility challenge so that you can give birth to a healthy baby, go to restoreyourfertility.info. And if you found value in this video, please like, consider subscribing, and also check out one of these videos I made for you. And I'll see you on the next video.